Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be comparing Kajabi to ClickFunnels 2.0. I will show you everything that you need to know about both of these tools, including what these tools are and what they actually do, the pricing of both of these tools, and which one, if any, is more cost effective. And then we will be taking a look at the features of these two platforms to figure out which of these tools is going to be best for you. I will leave my affiliate link for both of these tools in the description down below and using those links to sign up to either platform will give you the best deals and discounts available. Now, the first thing that we need to discuss in terms of Kajabi versus ClickFunnels is what these platforms actually are, what they offer and what they do. Now, Kajabi is and has always been an all-in-one solution for selling digital products online. So if we go up here, whether you want to create an online course, a coaching program, whether you want to create a podcast and lock it behind a paywall, whether you want to create a membership community, you can create all of these inside of Kajabi. So that is the back end. And then on the front end of Kajabi to actually sell these products, we can create websites, we can create blogs, we can create sales funnels, we can also do email marketing. So we create an email list and then we can send out emails inside of Kajabi in order to sell our product. So as I say, it's essentially an all-in-one solution to be able to sell digital products online. Now, ClickFunnels is interesting because ClickFunnels has recently switched from the regular version of ClickFunnels to ClickFunnels 2.0. As you can see right here, we have ClickFunnels Classic and ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, ClickFunnels Classic was essentially just a funnel builder. So all of these options that you see right here, like being able to create a course, create a coaching program, create a website, you were not able to do any of this inside of ClickFunnels Classic. It was just a tool that allowed you to build out a sales funnel. And for sales funnel creation, it was by far the best in the game. And ClickFunnels had a big problem because it was basically getting absolutely crushed by all of this competition that allowed you to do everything as well as creating a sales funnel. So this is why ClickFunnels then created ClickFunnels 2.0 that is going to allow you to do all of these things as well. So with this, we can now create and upload online courses. We can do email marketing. Of course, we can go ahead and build sales funnels just like we could before. We can create blogs. And essentially, both of these tools do the same thing on the surface. They are now both all-in-one tools where you can create and sell your digital products online. However, there are still some major differences between these two platforms, and they both definitely have some pros and cons. The first thing that we need to talk about where they differ massively is going to be the pricing of both of these tools. Before we get into all of the different features that we get with each of these pricing plans, there is another major difference in terms of the free trial that you can get with both of these tools. So as I mentioned, I have my affiliate links in the description of this video, and these affiliate links will give you the best deals and discounts. So we can see if I click on my affiliate link right here with ClickFunnels, we can get access to a 14 day free trial. Whereas with Kajabi, the free trial that I can offer as an affiliate is going to be an extended 30 day trial. Now, the reason this is extended is because if we just go to Kajabi and we just go through the regular website, we go to buy this and sign up, you can see the standard trial is a 14 day free trial. So that is the first thing. However, that's definitely not a game changer. It's just a little extra cherry on top. We need to take a deeper dive into the pricing. So if we take a look at ClickFunnels right here, even though this startup plan is slightly more expensive than the Kickstarter version of Kajabi, it's basically limitless in terms of we can create unlimited everything unlimited funnels, unlimited courses, unlimited, we can enroll unlimited members, we can have unlimited email contacts, we can create unlimited pages, and we can link up unlimited domains. Whereas with Kajabi, we can see this is a lot more limited. So we can create 50 landing pages, which is, I mean, this is more than enough for most people. Most people won't be creating 50 landing pages anyway. However, this right here is a bit of an issue. We only can send 1,250 marketing emails per month. Whereas with ClickFunnels, this is unlimited. It doesn't say it right here, but we can send unlimited emails. I just want to show you because I'm not sure why they don't have it listed right here, but we can see that ClickFunnels is going to include unlimited email sequences across all plans. On top of this, each plan on Kajabi is going to be limited by the amount of active customers that you have. Like even on the basic plan right here, 
This is almost double the price of the startup plan on ClickFunnels, and we are still limited to the amount of contacts and active customers that we can have. So we can clearly see that from the pricing plans that ClickFunnels in the long run is going to work out cheaper. I mean, realistically, we never really have to upgrade to this pro plan. The only time that you have to do this is when you expand your team and expand your company and you need more team members or you need more brand workspaces. Aside from that, like 99% of people are going to be absolutely fine on this startup plan right here for just $97 per month. Whereas with Kajabi, as your business grows, as you get more contacts, you need to send more emails, you get more active customers into your course or your coaching program, you do need to gradually creep up this tier list and get charged more per month. The last thing that I will say in this pricing area is if from this video you do find that you prefer Kajabi, don't be completely put off that you do have to pay a little bit more. Because just to actually crunch the numbers and show you that this isn't as horrific as it originally sounds, let's say for this one right here, with the basic plan, we can have 1000 active customers, right? And let's say that you're selling a course in this example. So we will do 1000 customers times 99. Like, let's say that this is a relatively cheap course. Like usually for courses, you're going to be charging maybe 499 or 1997. But let's say that this is a cheap course at $99. You're still going to be making $99,000 from this. So although you do have to creep up and maybe pay an extra $40 per month, when we actually put this into perspective, you can see that it's not the end of the world. So from a pricing point of view, ClickFunnels is definitely preferable in terms of keeping the cost down. But when we get into the features, if you find that Kajabi is a better solution for you, then don't be completely put off by this pricing structure. If we actually get into the features of Kajabi versus ClickFunnels, and I will go into both of these platforms in a second, but the main difference between these is this. So as you know, as I mentioned earlier, ClickFunnels was a funnel builder and then they added on all of these extra features for ClickFunnels 2.0. Whereas Kajabi has always been an all-in-one solution for all of these marketing needs. So that is where the major difference comes in. ClickFunnels is absolutely incredible and it is far, far better at building funnels. And with that in mind, you would assume that if Kajabi has always been like this all-in-one platform for creating courses and things like this, then the course creation process and how all of this looks on the back end would be far better, right? However, that's just not the case. What I have found is that ClickFunnels is far better on the front end in terms of building out the funnel and selling the product. But then on the back end, they are almost identical in terms of the course creation. So I'll show you this firsthand. So I have now signed in to my account on both Kajabi and ClickFunnels. And the first thing that I am going to show you in here is the funnel creation process and just how much better ClickFunnels is at this. So if I go up here to create a funnel with ClickFunnels and we create a new funnel, you can see we have all of these different funnel templates to choose from. Like we have a funnel to generate leads. We have a funnel to grow your email list, sell products online, and you can go through and choose these or we can start from scratch. And you will see instantly with ClickFunnels just how incredible these templates are. So if I go through to build out my funnel and I create a new funnel page, just look at the type of templates that we can get. We have different templates for opt-in and you can see these all right here. We have different templates that we can customize as a thank you page. We have funnels for sales pages. And if I go over to Kajabi and open this up, and then we go into funnels and we create a brand new funnel right here. Once again, we have a few different options for the type of funnel that we want to create, whether this is a sales page, product launch, Zoom webinar, any of these other options. So let's say this is a sales page right here. We'll just call this test and create. It's going to auto build us out this funnel. So it kind of gives us just a basic funnel page right here and doesn't even let us choose from all of these different templates like ClickFunnels does. Now, if we actually click into this, you will see that the quality of funnels on Kajabi is really not the best. Like this is what we are given. So compare this with the quality of funnels that we get right here on ClickFunnels and you can see a world of difference. Now, with that being said, although the funnel that they give us kind of sucks right here, like there's no other way of saying this, it's just not very good at all, we can customize this. So in theory, we could like take a look at one of these funnels on ClickFunnels and we could rebuild this on Kajabi.
It's just going to take more time and effort. One other thing about this is that when we are actually building the funnel, so for example, I can go for this and we will create the page. The tools that we have inside of ClickFunnels are once again, just far superior because this is by nature, it's a funnel built. So it's far better at building these funnels. They both work in the same way in terms of if I want to change some text right here, I just click in and then I type out whatever I want to type out. We do the same thing on Kajabi. So anything that we want to change, we just click in and then on Kajabi, it's actually on this right hand side, but it's essentially the same thing. So we just go in and we type what we want to type out and that's going to show up on the web page. However, with ClickFunnels, it's just a lot easier. So as an example, if I go up to my assets right here, they give us all of these like pre-built headers and they give us pre-built stacks that we can just get right here. Like these look incredible for different products. We have pre-built footers, pre-built about us sections that look incredible and we can just go in and edit. Whereas with Kajabi, all we can do is go in and build content and then we just have to drop these in one by one. So I can drop in an image right here and then edit this and add in the image. Whereas with ClickFunnels, it's just a lot better. Like we can drag this in where we want. And then once this is in, we can drag all of the elements where we want to on the website. We have a lot more customization for where we can drag and drop things. Whereas on Kajabi, we can't really drag and drop things as easily. It's overall just not a very good funnel builder. So that is funnels. However, if we now go in to start adding courses and things like this, we can go up to products. So I'm once again here on Kajabi and let's go ahead and create a course. So we click into courses and then we can add a new course right here. So I will just click in and then let's title this YouTube affiliate marketing guide. We can go through and add a description. This right here is a pretty cool tool. Uh, so you can essentially use this if we turn this on and it's going to generate the content and basically generate you a course layout. So you can use this if you don't really have a plan for the course yet, but I usually turn this off. Then we can go in and customize how the course is going to appear when people log in. So we can choose like a primary color, and then we can choose a secondary color right here and we can set that all up. We can also add a thumbnail image, but then we go through, we can set up payments right here. So how much the course is going to cost, whether this is a subscription, one-time payment, multi-pay, we can choose all of the payment methods that we want to accept. So let's price this at 1997 and then click on next. And it's going to go through and create this course. So now all I have to do from here is go through and fill in these modules and lessons. So I can edit this and call this maybe like module one, welcome to the course. Then once again, we can add like a thumbnail, a description, all of that good stuff. We can add that in there. And then we just go through and create the lessons. So I click into edit lesson and we can call this lesson one. Then we can go through and right here, this is where we add the media. So I can add the video for the course. I can then go down and add any additional information. Like if I want to add a transcript or ask questions, I can do this all in this area. Now, if we come over to ClickFunnels, this is pretty much the exact same. We just click into courses right here. Then we can create the course. We can choose if this is a simple course. So like a one module course, drip content course or custom. So we can go in here. We can choose a title, a description, everything that we did in Kajabi. And then once we have the course, this is the exact same where we just click in, we create the modules, we create the lessons and we can add all of this in. If we then take a look at how both of these courses are going to look inside, we can go and preview these. So this is on Kajabi right here. We can see this is how we set this up. We click in to start the course. And then right here, we have the course loading it. Now, don't worry about this video uploading. It's because I literally just uploaded this. Like when your students log in, they will be able to view it straight away. Don't worry about this encoding. Whereas on ClickFunnels, if we preview this, in my opinion, it just looks better. Like we have a bigger screen to view the course. We have this section at the bottom. Overall, it's just a better layout, right? So that is the product creation side of both of these tools. Then the final thing that we are going to talk about in this comparison is the email marketing with both of these tools. What I would say about this straight off the bat with the email marketing is when your company is still small and you don't have a lot of money to really be investing in other types of software, then just stick to one of these and do the email marketing inside of the tool that you have. But to be completely honest with both of these tools, the email marketing platform in these it's not the best. It kind of sucks. 
So it's okay to start off with the email marketing, but when your company starts expanding, I would recommend getting a separate email marketing tool and you can connect this up to both ClickFunnels and Kajabi very, very easily. If you do want to do this, the tool that I would recommend is MailerLite. I created a tier list on my channel where I took a deep dive into all of the email marketing tools and MailerLite came out on top. So this is the one that I would recommend just in terms of pricing, the templates that you can get, the automations, and most importantly, the deliverability. So a deliverability is essentially when you send an email, how often does that email actually land in somebody's inbox without being sent to spam? As MailerLite is an actual email marketing tool, it's going to be far better at this because they are constantly optimizing for deliverability. Whereas with ClickFunnels and Kajabi, this is going to be worse because they have so many different things that the company is working on at the same time. The deliverability is like far down the list that they are optimizing for. So that is the main reason that I would go with a professional email marketing tool later down the line though. As a beginner, you don't need to worry about that. So if we take a look at the email marketing with both of these tools, let's just create a new email campaign we can create a new broadcast right here and we can do the same on ClickFunnels, create broadcast, let's call this test. So, so from here, we can select a template from both of these. And I wouldn't say there's much of a difference between the templates that we can get on both ClickFunnels and Kajabi. Like these are the ClickFunnels templates right here. We definitely have more of a selection on ClickFunnels and these are the ones that we can get on Kajabi. But from here, they are both very easy to do email marketing on. We can just choose one of these templates. And then once again, this is drag and drop. We just click in and edit everything that we want to edit. So we can go in and edit all of this. So the only thing that I would really say here is that once again, ClickFunnels has a better layout and it just feels nicer to edit. We have more tools at our disposal. Whereas with Kajabi, once again, it's a little bit basic in my opinion on how we go ahead and edit all of this. So that is my comparison of ClickFunnels versus Kajabi. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.